Hello, I am Dr. Prahlad Rao from Mysore. Today, I am going to talk about antimicrobial resistance or antibiotic resistance. As you all know, all the diseases are caused by bacteria, viruses, fungus and parasites. Apart from this, our body contains numerous healthful bacteria or commensals even on the skin, intestines and even lungs and genital parts, everything that prevents the pathogenic bacteria invading. When we use the antibiotic, we kill the pathogenic bacteria. Usually the antibiotic is prescribed for 3 days, 5 days, 1 week, 15 days or even months together depending on the severity of the infection, type of the infection like. In 1928, Alexander Fleming at St. Mary Hospital, London discovered penicillin. This discovery of antibiotics greatly reduced the number of deaths from various infections. We are able to do safe surgery without any sepsis. But because of the misuse of antibiotics, the people themselves, they go to the medical counter and they purchase the antibiotics. Many times the chemist dispense uh, his own choice of antibiotic, quacks prescribing. So what happens when they don't know how much they have to take, they incomplete the course or sometimes they exceed the course and that causes bacteria to overgrow. And that's how the antibiotic resistance to the bacteria occurs. From the government side, there should be a strict vigilance towards the antibiotic prescription they should track it, they should maintain a record and uh, ultimately every month they have to question how much of antibiotic you have prescribed, uh, so much so you have prescribed, what is the reason, give explanation. Like that they have to inquire and in some, that way only you can prevent the antibiotic misuse and abuse and they must prevent the quackery also. I request my all my patients when they, whenever they go to the doctor, they should not insist on prescribing the antibiotic. They should not go themselves to the chemist and uh, take the antibiotic like that. In that way, we can prevent antibiotic resistance. With this, I will close my talk.